You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV, and today we have the Air Jordan 4. These are the Air Jordan 4 bread reimagined. And if you're a fan of the channel, you know we love our classic Jordan silhouettes, especially in the original colorways. But before we get into our episode, we want to give a huge shout out to 1985 Gallery for letting us get an early look at what seems to be one of the most sought after sneakers of the year. But let's dive into the details. The Air Jordan 4 bread reimagined consists of the synthetic leather upper. You do have that synthetic leather material at the top of the tongue, as well as a black nylon tongue tag with a red jump man and the word flight spelled out in white. The back of the tongue is red and it features another nylon tongue tag that says the Air Jordan spell out. They come with flat black laces and then the rest of the tongue consists of this rubberized mesh. Taking us to the vamp or the toe box, you do have that synthetic leather material. Looks like a tumbled leather as you can already see a lot of detail in the texture. And then for the toe cap, you have more synthetic leather overlays. Taking us to the side of the shoe, you have more synthetic leather overlays, as well as the support wings and cement gray and black that double as the eye stays for the laces. For the quarter panel of the shoe, you do have more of that rubberized mesh for breathability. Taking us to the collar, you have the cement gray collar with extra padding. Taking us to the back of the shoe, you have that iconic heel tab with the Nike Air branding and cement gray. They do have a polyurethane midsole that holds the visible air unit. And then taking us to the outsole, you have that classic herringbone traction in gray and white, as well as that star pattern in red towards the tip of the toe. And then you have that Nike swoosh in red in the middle. For those of you who might not know, the Jordan 4 made its debut in 1989. They were designed by none other than Tinker Hatfield. A lot of people hold the black and red Jordan 4 in high regard as the greatest sneaker of all time. Jordan also hit an iconic game-winning shot against the Cleveland Cavaliers in the playoffs. That moment early on in his career has been known as the shot. Over the years, we've seen a handful of retros for the black and red Jordan 4 with the new buck upper. But for this latest rendition, Jordan brand reimagined these classics while still keeping that perfect color combination intact. They also hold a few similarities to the SB Jordan 4 that released last year. Similar cut, similar shape, the rubberized support wings and the rubberized heel tab. Also extra padding in the collar, extra padding in the tongue. A lot of purists been on the fence about these. They don't like that they're leather, first of all, and they don't like the additional padding in the tongue. And I get it, you know, some people want it the way they remember it, but I'm not too mad at this specific rendition of these. I do like the leather on them. Kind of reminds me of the Motorsport 4s that released maybe 2012. Also, it kind of reminds me of the Laser 4s without the lasers. These do come complete with that Nike Air branding, making these a must have for any Jordan fan. Personally, I like the reimagined bread fours. It's just that word reimagine, kind of confusing as they did release the Jordan 1 Chicago Lost and Found reimagined. And those were pre-distressed. They had a vintage look to them. I would like to see Jordan brands separate those two terms. You have the reimagined version, and you have a Lost and Found version. I would like to see a Jordan 4 that's pre-distressed, that has fading on the new buck, oxidized midsole. I do like that vintage look. And then they just keep them separate. As I mentioned earlier, these appear to be one of the most hyped shoes of the year, dropping All-Star Weekend, February 17th. If you're in the area, make sure you stop by 1985 Gallery. They do first come, first serve. I suggest getting there early so you have a better chance to secure your pair. But if you're not over here, then you can still try to get them on sneakers or other online retailers. As far as comfort goes, they feel very similar to the Nike SB Jordan 4, and everyone has said that that is the most comfortable Jordan 4 that was ever made. As far as style goes, you already know, this is one of the most iconic silhouettes of all time, especially in this colorway. You really can't go wrong. It doesn't matter what you wear with it. It would be really hard to break a fit while you're wearing the Jordan 4 in that classic black and red colorway. But how do you guys feel about the Jordan 4 bread reimagined? Is this a must cop for you? Are you gonna pass? Do you prefer it with the new buck upper? Are you interested in the leather upper? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. And if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate all the support. Let's go ahead and try these on. 
Spy music up the chart, God willing from a squad to all villains on the Mata Godzilla. I'm chilling nothing but SF, Giants heat, Nike fleece from 93, about to throw on that MJ, come and fly with me. Man, this ain't that drama, you wanna try your act out. I tell the pilot to land in Thailand, right on Bison's background. In the mighty jungle, when confronted, lions back down. Fredo becomes David, about to chop Goliath's ass down. The most consistent, most unstoppable, uh -huh. with no resistance. The Mega Mall boys load the clip, we on the road to riches. Now what you say anyway? I don't think no one listens. How you finna talk about where we at when you're in no position? Hold up. I'm about to roll up this whole prescription, Hercules, Michael Bolton singing, I can go. If you enjoyed this review on the Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagined, make sure you check out all our other Jordan reviews. We have a bunch for you guys to binge and enjoy. Hit that like and subscribe button so you can be updated when new episodes drop. We got a lot more on the way, and we'll catch you on the next episode.